Okay, so... This is where the air comes out. Let's call what's his name? Tink. This is Tink. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. That answer your question? Oh, God. I'm curious, who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids, staring at each other, doing stupid kid stuff. Or maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name, Nightshade. Kessler gave all of his horses names, painted them on their bridles. Okay. Have fun fishing. <laughs> Always do. Okay. Talk to Bess and, um, I always want to call them Bess and Marvin. Bess and George. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hey, what's the latest? Got anything for me in the way of hints? Miles said Joy's favorite tune was on roll three. Look in the cabinet in the gear room and find roll three. Catch you guys later. Be careful. Good luck. Okay, well, that didn't help me whatsoever. So, um, what do we do now? Power? I need to switch from CD to roll. Oh. Right. Hold on. Okay, so for some weird ass reason, we have to put this paper in there. And I don't know why. I need to tape them to the pipes. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, we have tape. Cool. That's so cool, actually. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now I'm gonna call everybody again. Everybody that I know, I'm calling them again. I wonder when that's gonna come up. Okay. All right, let's make phone calls to everybody that we know. So let's call the police department again, because I'm sure they want to hear from me. I'm sure they love hearing from me. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. I like that the tape actually did come in handy. Hi, Nancy. Nothing new at this end. What have you got? Nothing. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. All in a day's work. I played with the pipe organ, sir. That's what I'd like to tell you. So, Tink, are you still fishing? <laughs> Here. Hi, Nancy Drew again. Now what? Oh. Have fun fishing. <laughs> Always do. Why he's so rude to me? I'm just trying to let him know what I'm doing with this fucking machine. Honestly. Okay, Paula. I thought you wanted to be updated about everything, doy. All right, now what? Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hey, what's the latest? Got anything for me in the way of hints? I was afraid you were going to ask that. We're temporarily out. Oh, shit. Catch you guys later. Be careful. Good luck. Damn. Really? Um. Hey, how's your trial going, Lance? Tell me all about it, please. Sorry, sports fans. I'm down at the courthouse right now, seeking fair compensation for my grievous neck injuries. Leave a message at the beep, and if I'm not in too much pain, I'll give you a call back. I still don't have anything to say to him. I still can't get over the fact that he left that as his outgoing voicemail. Like, what? How ridiculous. Let's call home because let's not. Why, why not? Hi. No one can take your call right now except, except Togo. And, and since, since he's, he's forbidden, forbidden to answer the phone, phone because he gets slobber all over it, it I'm afraid you're, you're going to have to leave a message. message. At one point, I am going to perfect the way and sound exactly like her. All right, Hardy boys. Hello? Hey, Frank. It's Nancy. I'm on too, Nance. What's new? Any suggestions as to my next move? 
Nothing here. Or here. Sorry, Nance. Damn. I better get going. Let us know what happens. Whoa, what the hell? But you guys know more than I do. Ooh, I'm on my own now. All right. Damn, nobody wants to talk to me. How fucking rude. That sucks. Okay, was that the last person that I could speak to? Maybe I should just check my email. Yeah, let's go check my email. Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. I better go to Harlan's. He sounds mad. What did I do? Is it because I checked your locker? I'm sorry, I'm supposed to. That's my job. I'm supposed to check everyone out. I don't suspect you. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? Oh, god damn it. I'm sorry, but I thought she had a right to know what I know. You don't know Zip. I had nothing to do with the theft of that carousel horse. Just because I did time doesn't mean I'm guilty of every crime that comes down the pike, you know? Oh my god. I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous, too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. I believe you. I really do. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I don't feel like talking right now. My back's kind of sore, probably because somebody just got done stabbing me there. Man, I am so sorry. I feel horrible. I really do. I was just doing my job, I swear. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? What did I do now? You just said you didn't want to talk to me. What have you found out in two seconds? I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. I love how he's like playing around with me. Like, I was literally just here, you could have told me about it. But he was just like, nope, walk all the way to Joy's and then walk right back. There's nothing inside but a key. <gasps> Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. From a friend. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Sounds good. I am not going in the haunted house. That friend probably is going to end up like fucking like... Oh my god, this is where I'm gonna get scared. I'm gonna get heart attack tonight. This is what's gonna happen. Hi. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. <laughs> Suck it to me. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot what it was. Hold on. What is it? Hold on. Hooray! I remember that song. I did ride the carousel. Over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You love the carousel? And you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name! Glory! Glory! That's right! Glory! My mother gave him to me for my birthday! My fourth birthday! She died in a car accident that very night! Aw, that's so sad. 
Your mother was the one who bought that horse. I wonder what happened to it. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel, and I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the magnificent memory machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number ten. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Um, I have the brass ring. I feel like that's what you need. We're in the home stretch. What do you say we do the rest of this together? No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Ms. Santos and apologize. Wow. Thanks, Nancy. Okay. Joy, did that shit? Just, wow. Okay, uh... Harlan bawled me out for passing my suspicions about him onto Paula. I think he was more hurt than that I would think that about him than he was angry. I apologize, but I still feel bad. Harlan gave me an envelope containing a key. He says somebody left it in his office for me, but he didn't see who. Should I believe him or not? Miles' third riddle is a doozy. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize a range on his forearms so strange and something long lost and cherished you'll find. Yikes. Used Elliot's lathe to make a new dowel. I've never used a lathe before. The Drewster scores again. Spook number 10. Spook number 10. Is that like Haunted Mansion? Why do we have to go to the Haunted Mansion? I'm so nervous. I'm going to like get killed. Whew. Okay. Keep checking email. Oh my God. I literally, oh, I'm panicking. Okay. I need to calm down. Find out what the key Harlan gave me opens. Call Tink about the book about Kessler that Joy's dad gave him. Check out spook number 10. Find out what Amelia Kessler's nickname was. Consult an expert. Arrange the brass ring on Spook 10's forearm so strange. Oh. Okay. Dear Nancy, Togo tossed a squeaky toy while playing in the study and it somehow bounced behind your father's beautifully built and cherry wood bookcase. Please come home soon. Love, Hannah. Hannah! Dear Nancy, the good news is Togo just got done eating and is still off playing with his yellow squeaky toy. The bad news is the men dropped the TV while they were moving and it couldn't be fixed. When you get home, do Togo and me a favor and tell your father how nice the new TV is and remind him he was thinking about getting a new one anyway. Oh my god. I know it. I know it. A bad guy is going to close in on me. Guess we're going to the haunted house. Oh, Jesus. This isn't good. This isn't good. Well, actually, let's call Tink. Because that, that we can do. Let's call everybody. Let's call the detect. Let's call everybody. I like calling everybody. I like speaking to people. Tink here. Hi, Nancy Drew again. Now what? According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Roth Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. Did you ever read the book yourself? Nah, not really. I just kind of glanced through it. Maybe you can help me. Kessler apparently had a special name for Amelia. Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. 
Have fun fishing. I'm trying. I'm sorry. By the way, we still have the note that, like, Kessler gave. Let's call the police department because why the fuck not?